So Qualcomm just announced the second processor in the Snapdragon 700 series that is the Snapdragon 712 and as the name shows this is a small upgrade from the Snapdragon 710 which is already a very powerful processor for the mid-range smartphones. Now I am not sure why Qualcomm launched this processor but the reason could be the competition from MediaTek. In this short video I will try to explain what is new in the Snapdragon 712 and how this processor differs from the 710. So starting off with the architecture, the Snapdragon 712 is based on the 10 nanometer architecture which is the same as the Snapdragon 710. The 10 nanometer architecture means that this processor is not only powerful but also power efficient. Coming to the CPU, the Snapdragon 712 has the same octa-core cryo 360 CPU that is present on the Snapdragon 710. Now if you are wondering what is the difference between the cryo and Cortex then you just need to understand that Cryo cores are the customized cores that Qualcomm uses in its processors. The cryo cores are one of the examples of custom cores and these custom cores are specifically made to boost the performance and get a better experience than the stock cores. Anyways, talking about other specifications of the Snapdragon 712, it has the same Adreno 616 GPU as the Snapdragon 710. So yes, the CPU and the GPU are the same as the Snapdragon 710. So what's the difference? Well, the Snapdragon 712 has a faster octa-core processor since it is clocked at 2.3 GHz compared to the 2.2 GHz CPU of Snapdragon 710. According to Qualcomm, this results in a performance boost of up to 10% from the Snapdragon 710. Another difference between the 710 and the 712 is that the Snapdragon 712 supports Qualcomm Quick Charge 4 Plus instead of Quick Charge 4. And well, that was all about the differences. Apart from the clock speed, the Quick Charge 4 Plus support and a couple of extra features, the Snapdragon 712 is the same as Snapdragon 710. So it is just a minor upgrade from the Snapdragon 710 and not like the Snapdragon 675 which is actually a huge upgrade from Snapdragon 670. So yeah, that was all about the all new Snapdragon 712 processor and how it differs from the Snapdragon 710. If you like this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and as always I will catch you in the next one.